Bob Banner, my old friend from Chicago, called me. He was producing Candid Camera for Alan Funt. He called me and he said, Charlie, we're going to have guests instead of just using pickup film, you know, guys talking to mailboxes and stuff like that. He said, we're going to have guests, hosts, with Alan. Would, would Arthur be one? And I said, well, Bob, if I just go and ask him if he'll co-host a program with Alan Fund, he's going to say no. But if you bring Alan Fund over to be a guest on the morning show, uh, Arthur will get to know Alan and have Alan tell some of his funny adventures with Ken. And Bob says, I'll get back to you. He says, yeah, uh, Alan, Alan will be only too glad to do it because their show is just starting and they needed all the help they could get. And Arthur was a big man in television at that time. Like number one. Number one. Yep. And so then I went to Arthur and I said, Arthur, uh, this guy Alan Funt's got some funny stories to tell and and uh, a guest fell out last week. I don't have anybody. And I know the producer of the show, he can bring Alan over and I, I just got a hunch. He said, what happened to the other guest? I well, his mother died. I, I, I made some excuse. And he said, well, if you can't get anybody else, okay, bring him in. I never liked the guy, but oh, okay. So uh, Front came in, and there was never any rehearsal. You kept him in the control room and pushed him out when it was time to go. And Arthur was in a good mood, and Front told all those wonderful stories. And he's got some funny stuff, and he delivers well. And Arthur was dying laughing. Not his phony, polite laugh, his real from the gut laugh. So, so when he left, at the end of the program, Arthur thanked him and all that stuff. And, and uh, I passed Arthur in the hall and he said, that, that guy is pretty good. Bring him back in a couple of weeks. So I said, okay, Arthur, I think I can arrange that. So now, Funt's guy calls the guy at CBS and they said, this was after Arthur had the lung operation, so he hadn't had a lot of extra exposure. He said, would, uh, would Arthur be the, the co-host on that? Oh, yeah, that Alan's funny. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll do it, but uh, it has to be on my way to the Teterboro when we tape it, and I can't get there till so-and-so, and I gotta leave it so-and-so, but uh, I'll co-host. They were making a, a, another pilot of it, I think. So. I called Bob and said, "Can you, Alan? Will, um, will he be all right with Arthur?" I'll th so it was agreed. Arthur went on, and he had a good time. There was some funny stuff on the show, and they were paying him a lot of money. Uh, and, they, and they signed a deal where Arthur would co-host the show on a regular on a regular basis. On a regular basis. Mm -hmm. So he did three shows, and he added a great deal to that program. He really, he questioned Funt, and he warmed Funt up, and he was really doing good on the thing. Uh, and I used to ride over to the studio with him in his Bentley, and, uh, and Arthur would, we'd talk about what was going to happen on the show, stuff like that, I'd fill him in. So we're driving over in the Bentley, <laughs> we get halfway there, and Arthur says, you know, Charlie, do we really need this Funt guy on the show? And I said, Arthur, it's his show. You're the guest. Well, let's, I'd like to, I don't know, I'd like to get rid of him. My whole life passed before <laughs> on my eyes. So. How do you he, answer a question like that? He settled down and understood the situation, but he quit after, uh, I think, 13 weeks. He didn't want any more. 